greetings to everyone today we are going to discuss about cat lab you know in the cat lab what are all the that is the first experiment we are going to discuss so experiment number 1 is analysis and design of determinate structure okay so here for the analysis and the design we are going to use stat pro software so in that we are going to see list of commands used along with an example okay so first we should talk about what is determinate structure so if the structure is going to resolve using equilibrium equation then the structure is said to be determinate structure which is sum of vertical forces are equal to zero sum of horizontal forces are equal to zero sum of moment are equal to zero by using these three equation i am going to solve a structure then it should be called as determinate structure okay so now we are going to take a cantilever beam <clears throat> so it have the fixed support at a and free end at b so the degree of freedom here it is 3 you know that is one is horizontal force another one is vertical force and another one is mom moment which is at support a due to fixed end okay now so i the three equation is enough to solve this uh, beam so it will be called as <coughs> determinate structure okay now let us go with an example so that we can use stat pro for ease of understanding okay so the given data i am going to take like this so it is an cantilever beam having the fixed end at a and free end at b and it has the span of 1.5 meter and it has an uniform distributed load of 3 kilo newton per meter throughout the length so this is the given data and now we have to assume grade of concrete so it is a concrete structure so grade of concrete i am going to take it as m25 and the grade of steel yeah e 500 okay so that the compressive strength value becomes 25 newton per mm squared and your f value is 500 newton per mm squared we will check <clears throat> another thing assume the <clears throat> breadth of this section equal to 250 mm and the overall depth of the section will be equal to 300 mm so this is about the given data so for this data we are going to uh, do the analysis as well as design part so now let us share the screen of stat pro so first i have to use new structure
So I'm going to share the stat pro window. So this is our stat pro window. First I have to click the new project. So it, go, it, it is asking what type of structure. So I'm going to give space structures. Then what about the file name? So this is a cantilever beam. So I'm going to give a cantilever beam. And where we have we have to so I am going to save that is in academic in CAD lab experiment number one. Okay, okay. Now so the location has been assigned. Then <coughs> the thing. What is the thing? That is the length and the force unit we have to assign. So the length, the unit is meter and the force, the unit is kilometer that we have to click. Then next. Yes. So I, I have already the file so that it is asking for overwrite. Okay. Now I given yes. Okay. Now the next add beam. So we are going to design the beam analysis for a beam section. So I have to click on add beam. Then finish so that the window will come like this. Okay, now, so this is an 3D image view. Okay, now, if I want to make it, I have to use these views. Okay, now, so I have to give front view so that the Z axis is towards us, X axis towards this direction, and Y axis towards this direction. Okay, now, next, I have to uh, assign the beam length. So, what is the length? Okay, now. So for that, I have to go for modeling and setup. So in the setup, it is asking for job name. Okay, now so job name I'm going to give analysis and design of cantilever beam. And next, the client name, job number. This is first job. So if I need the engineer name, I am going to give my name. Okay, so this is what I have to. So next I have to go for geometry. So geometry is nothing but the length of the member I have to give it, okay now. So here uh, the length is 1.5 meter, but actually in the grid, whatever it is showing now, it is the, have the span of spacing one meter each. So first of all, I have to make it for 0.5 meter interval so that I have to give click edit on right side okay and here the spacing i have to make it as x axis 0.5 okay so that it is changed like this now so from 0 to 1.5 i have to click okay now and press escape so in order to view the beam length okay now i have to remove snap node or beam so if i'm going to click on this icon it comes like this Okay, now so this is about first. So then next, what should I have to give uh, the property that is the cross sectional property, then uh, support condition and loading conditions I have to give for the beam. Okay, now so for that, I have to click on general. Okay, now so that it will come like this. So click on property. So so in the property, I'm going to give the cross-sectional details. Okay, now, so click on define, then go for which type of cross-section. So ours is rectangular section, click on rectangular. So it will ask like this, okay, now. So ZD is nothing but our breadth of the beam. So the assumed value is 250 mm, so 0.25 meter. And YD is nothing but depth of the beam. So it is 300 mm, so 0 0.3, okay. Click the concrete material is concrete. Okay, now so we have to assign that. Then click add, then close. Okay, now I have to assign this property to the beam, whatever it is available in the screen. So click on here and go to assign to view and click assign. And if I'm, it is asking for the assignment method you have chosen is assign to view. Do you want to proceed? Click on yes. So it is assigned for the entire beam. Okay. Next, what should I do? So the first thing it is over. That is assigning the cross section. Second, I have to go for. Okay. Now, 
so i have to go for support condition so before that the cross section has been assigned or not that we have to check it that is with the help of 3d rendered view icon i can check it so it is showing like that so the breadth is 250 mm and the depth is 300 mm it is assigned so click close here okay now now i have to go for assigning the support condition so click on support on left side and click create and this is fixed support click on fixed here add so click once again on support here and use cursor to assign and give assign so that the support a is fixed so we are going to give so next we have to assign the load condition so give load and a definition click on the load on definition i can so here on right side it is coming like that so here click load case details and click on add so it comes like this so primary so number first one we are going to give dead load so all the beams have some dead weight by its own material so we have to assign first okay so dead load so for the title i am going to give as dead load dl for ease of understanding add next they have given the live load of udl through the length so i am going to give live load okay now live load and udl through the length so i am going to give udl add and close so click this dead load and give click on add so that we are going to assign the values so dead load i am going to take it as a uniform that is a unit parallel meter length so factor is 1 okay and it is acting downward so the minus symbol has been already available okay now so i am going to give add and close so here the question mark has came so this question mark denotes that uh, the value did not assign to the member so click on here then assign to view then click assign and it is asking yes or no so click yes so the load has been assigned to the entire member similarly give the udl also add go to member load and this is uniformly distributed load so click on uniform force and the intensity is 3 kN meter so it is acting downward so give minus and it is in y direction so y gy okay now and this d1 d2 d3 is nothing but the figure shows d1 the spacing from left side if the udl does not act throughout the length okay now then it we have to give this d1 value and d2 value so d2 is nothing but at what length it is going to act d1 is nothing but from the left to support how much length it is going to be start okay now so those values so here uniform throughout so i am going to give 0 0 okay now add and close so the same question mark has came so click we have to assign so click on that use assign to view assign to view assign yes so the load has been assigned here <coughs> excuse me symbols and labels i want to know the Uh, length of the member as well as load intensity so in order to get the load intensity in the diagram click on the loads and symbols and give tick on load value give apply and okay so that the intensity will appear in the screen similarly dimension so click dimension dimension to view display close so the values has been came into the screen okay now next what we have to do we have to do the load combination okay now so click load cases again add okay now both the combination of dead load and live load we have to get the values of shear force bending moment and everything okay now the analysis data so give define combination okay that is third load number and it should be in the normal type and default here alpha 2 is nothing but uh, factor of safety so always we are going to take it as 1.5 so assign the value as 1.5 and click double arrow 
so that it will come left side to right side it is going to assign so add and close so now the load has been assigned okay now what we have to do okay now we are in order to initiate the analysis okay now we have to click on analysis bar print okay now and under the perform analysis click on all add then close okay now now what you have to do you can perform the analysis right now so click the analyze icon on the top side run analysis save so the result will come like this so zero error zero warning so here i have to click on view output file done so whatever the result we are getting no analysis result that has came in the format like this okay so here number of joints two that is joint a and joint b number of member only one member a b okay the number of supports only one which is fixed support at point a so like that we can have okay now only one beam okay now next to loading case sulfate and member load so these two has been assigned so sulfate unit per meter length and udl 3 kN per meter so that also they have indicated okay now here and next so the shear force bending movement and those values they can given in the text to form so in order to if i want print out i can take it this otherwise if i need um, picture form then i have to go for some other thing that is post processing method so here i can have post processing click on this so that it will come like this so click apply and okay okay now then here i have to click on shear force okay this icon so that i can get the shear force value so shear force diagram i got it but i need shear force value in order to get the shear force value click on results and view value then beam results then shear at end maximum and midpoint annotate okay now so that i can get the value in the picture i have to save this picture so click on take a picture icon and mark it as a sfd okay now shear force diagram okay then next click on moment bending moment m is at so that i can get the bending moment diagram like this i need bending moment value also in the diagram so click on result again go to view values and beam results then give bending ends maximum and midpoint click on that and annotate so that the value has came okay now so the maximum bending moment value 3.35 actually this is on came only for udl actually the combination of load we need okay so for the combination of load the value is 8.045 kN meter so i have to take this image b bmd and save it actually for shear force also i have to take the previous picture okay now for combination of load so go to results sorry okay the value has came directly so i have to take a image sfd okay so already we have taken assigned for uh, udl alone so combination of both the weight i have to click okay i have to replace it so i'm going to give sfd combined load cl okay now click on okay then next i have to need a deflection diagram also click on deflection icon so it comes like this so i need the value go to results view value beam results maximum resultant under displacement and so that i can get the maximum displacement value as 0.38 mm okay take a picture and give the value as dd that is deflection diagram save it okay now 
Now I need the report which containing shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, and our uh, deflection diagram. So for that, click on reports and select pictures. So select whatever the need. Bending moment diagram I need. Sorry, bending moment diagram I need. Then shear force diagram for combined loading I need. Then deflection value for deflection diagram for command load i need okay now so click on okay so that i can get the report like this okay so job number cantilever beam uh, that is title of work then date so here the bending movement diagram has been came and the next page we are getting the shear force diagram and the next page we are getting deflection diagram whatever we have taken the image okay so this is about our analysis part now we have to move on design part okay so click on modeling and go to design okay now so in the design this is concrete structure so click on concrete which is available in the left side okay now then come to the right side space so concrete we are using the code of is456 okay click select is456 and select parameters and click on okay now we have to define the parameters so define parameters so first one is clear so clear is nothing but uh, clear cover we have to give okay so normally we are going to take uh, for beam it is 35 mm okay so 0 0.035 meters click on add next fc fc is nothing but compressive strength of concrete so in the given data remember it is 25 newton per mm squared here i have to give in kilo newton per meter squared so 25000 kilo newton per meter squared add then FY main reinforcement, yield strength of main reinforcement. So we have taken in the given data, they have given that uh, 500 Newton per mm squared. So 5 lakh. So click on add. So next is secondary reinforcement. For secondary reinforcement also, I'm going to use same grade of steel. Click on add then maximum diameter of main reinforcement so i am going to use 20 mm maximum click on add then maximum secondary reinforcement so i am going to take secondary reinforcement as 16 mm so select 16 mm and click add next <coughs> excuse me minimum main reinforcement okay now so we are going to use 10 mm click on add Minimum secondary reinforcement as 8 mm, click on add. So close. So whatever the parameter we have selected now, that didn't assign. So that's what the question mark came here. So we have to assign to the beam right now. So click on here, assign to view, assign. Yes. So for all these things, for compressive strength, assign to view, assign, yes. So that the question mark has been uh, removed from that position. Okay. Select FY, assign to view. Assign. If it is uniform throughout the member, then we have to give like this. Okay. Assign to view, assign. Yes. Maximum main reinforcement, assign to view, assign. Yes. Maximum secondary reinforcement, assign to view, assign. Yes. Minimum main reinforcement. Assign to view, asking. yes. Minimum secondary reinforcement, assign to view, asking. yes. So here, whatever the properties we have given, that has been assigned. Okay. After assigning, we have to click on comments. Okay. So comments is nothing but we have whatever the design data that we are going to uh, get it in the printout form so for that design b add similarly take off 
add then close now come to downward okay now here the design beam we didn't give so click on here assign to view and assign yes so it the design beam for for the design of the beam has been assigned now we have to get the data okay now so for that click on analysis bar print in order to run the design progress so click this icon so perform analysis all and add close then go to the analyze part analyze icon run analysis save so that we can get the data like this v output file done okay so the design data in the printout form we can get it so only one beam so whatever the beam we have done that so in that here click on concrete design okay after clicking that the beam number one so here only one beam is there so beam number one so m25 grade of concrete fe500 main reinforcement fe500 secondary reinforcement and the length of the beam is 1500 mm the size of the beam is 250 mm by 300 mm and the cover whatever we have given as 335 mm so here top reinforcement since uh, uh, it is a cantilever beam so the moment is going to act maximum at the support okay now so the maximum reinforcement we have to give in the top of top face of the beam since the tensile force is going to act on the top face of the beam okay so the reinforcement amount they have given here corresponding to the section 0 mm 375 mid section 750 mm like that so uniform throughout the member so this is starts from uh, fixed support so here starts from fixed support so this is reinforcement three numbers of 10 mm dia uniform the throughout the length so that the requirement is of 127.50 has been satisfied and for bottom reinforcement so for uh, minimum per reinforcement we have to provide it in the compression zone also so that's what they have given that is the software has given two numbers of 10 mm dia one layer throughout the length in the compression zone that is at the bottom face so shear reinforcement that is stirrups so two legged 8 mm dia stirrups at the spacing of 195 mm center to center it have suggested so this is what so now So now we have to, whatever the data we have seen now, that we have to get it in the form of diagram. So in order to get the diagram form, it, click do double tick, double click on the beam specimen, so that we can get like this. So this is about your beam cross sectional data property. So this is about uh, breadth and this is about depth. Okay, and elasticity density so density of concrete and elasticity loading shear so this is about our shear diagram okay and this is about deflection and concrete design so whatever we have discussed that is top layer three numbers of 10 mm dia and bottom reinforcement two numbers of 10 mm dia and stirrups okay uh, two legged stirrups at uh distance okay now they have given in the diagram okay now at 195 mm center to center okay now so this is what two liquid stirrups okay now so this is how we can get the details of output so this is about analysis and design of cantilever beam using stat pro thank you all